Square wave generation is often met in developing, adjusting and testing of electronic equipment. Square wave generator often should give pulses of a defined duration and with a defined pause between pulses. It's possible to build a square wave generator with regulated pulse duration and pause duration in synchronous counters. Synchronous counters allow us to be geared to maximum quick operation, that is, maximum possible clock frequency. We will consider only circuit of pulse and pause counters. Let's choose digits for the both counters, that is 16. Then a circuit of pulse and pause counters will include 8 microcircuits of IE17 counters and output flip-flop as well as logic for or, or, or not elements for decreasing transfer delays. In this case, it's very convenient to take JK flip-flop as it has two information inputs and a clock input. A flip-flop is clocked with negative C wave front and counters with positive front, therefore signal to C flip-flop input is given through a digital inverter for making all the circuit work synchronously according to one clock signal front. 16-digit pulse and pause counters work by turn and are controlled with control signals of flip-flop outputs, straight and inverse. Counters count to smaller values, inverse counting mode, from a concurrently written code to zero. Before operation, both counters are in a state of concurrent write and write in pulse and pause codes. After a post permission signal for generation perm, an upper counter starts counting. It's a pause counter. When a pause counter counts to zero, its transfer signal is written into a flip-flop to the J input and changes a flip-flop output in one, making a pause counter switch from a counting mode to a concurrent write mode and preventing signal arrival to J input. At the same time, a lower counter switches to a counter node, it's a pulse counter, counts to zero in its turn, and then makes a flip-flop change to zero to K input. This process is repeated from time to time while generation is permissible, that is perm signal positive. For correct operation of this circuit, it's necessary for a 16-digit counter that made on four microcircuits of synchronous counters to completely function for a period of a clock signal. Moreover, a circuit of an inverter, flip-flop and 2i element should also be able to function for a period of a clock signal.